Today's video is sponsored by Blue Land. Hi, flower friends. It's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm. And today I'm planting the hoop house. I have helpers coming today. My friend Ash is coming and she's bringing a woofer and his name is Spencer. I've talked in depth about the woofer program before. I will put a link if you guys want to learn more about it. It's a farm volunteer program. Brad's got the tractor because I need it. The first thing that I have to do is weed the edges. The edges of the hoop house got extremely weedy this year. I've showed you guys that before. I'm gonna go ahead and weed it, and then we're gonna add some compost and get some ranunculus planted. It's actually um, coming up pretty good. So I think we've gotten a lot of uh, rain lately, so the soil is really, really wet over here. So the roots are just pulling right out. And then in here, it's so dry that the roots are just pulling right out. So not bad. Okay, I have removed majority of the weeds from the sides. Now I'm lifting up my uh, DeWitt cloth and I'm gonna add some compost, mix it in, get the rest of this grass. There's not a lot of weeds coming up through here, um, but I'm gonna get the rest of um, the little clumps of grass that are growing, mix it in with the soil and the new compost, and then we're gonna start planting ranunculus when my helpers get here. Brad's tractor is so noisy. Now that everything is weeded, now we're gonna move my Vermont compost. I got a two yard sling of this stuff. It is super healthy. Super delicious, really great soil to grow in. I use it for my soil blocking, but because I have so much of it, I'm actually gonna put it in the hoop house to just help regenerate the soil. So Brad has the tractor and the forks, and he's actually gonna move the sling closer to the hoop house so we can just shovel it in. This is my two yard sling. It's on a pallet and um, there's a lot of soil in here to use. We've got so many downed limbs from a storm. We actually have, this tree is actually dying. A lot of it didn't leaf out last year. All right, here comes the soil. We are going to place it right here and then shovel it in. Okay, perfect. Now it is right here. We are gonna add it right there as a top dressing and then mix it in a little bit. I forgot all of my tripods, all of my camera recording equipment at the nursery. So I'm gonna have to figure out where to set my, uh, my phone really to record this vlog. I'm gonna grab a shovel, but I'm also probably could just use this. It gets about the same. And there's a little bit on the edge here. Me spilling it. Oh yeah, that's gonna be good stuff. This looks like a good tripod. I'll use this. Oh, I guess it's gonna work. Okay. Oh, this is going to be fantastic. This is actually a lot easier than a shovel. Look at that, fresh, healthy. That's gonna be amazing. And now, more about the sponsor of today's video. It's Blue Land. Does your family wanna save money and space without plastic waste? Well, Blue Land might just be the solution for you. With Blue Land, all you need to clean your house or your hands with is this nickel-sized tablet. No more clunky cleaners or single-use plastics. With Blue Land, you get this hefty bottle. They call it the forever bottle. Here's how it works. Fill the bottle with warm or hot water. Pop in the tablet. Milk a seltzer. Use the product in just minutes. No shaking or stirring required. This really smells delicious. Mm. 
If you're like me, you always have your hand in the dirt and Blue Land is keeping my hands nice and clean before I make dinner because you know that's important to get the dirt out of your nails. And they do so with amazing fresh scents like lemon and lavender eucalyptus. All you have to do is click on my link in the description box below for 15% off your first order from Blue Land. Blue Land was even featured on Shark Tank. How cool is that? Anyway, thank you so much to Blue Land for sponsoring this video. You really make creating content possible. Okay, I gotta go wash my hands. <laughs> now I can cook dinner. Flippity flop. Hi, Ash. Woohoo! <laughs> what are you doing? This maybe just a little bit of a seed that we don't want but it's no. doing very well the yeah. compost is really a happy medium for growing in and this is spencer say hi spencer hi. so we yeah we found um inside my sling um there's apparently some mice in here and they were hoarding some seeds that are germinating so we're just getting those out because i don't need trees growing in the hoop house Wrong way, wrong way, wrong Another bucket full like here. Yes. In the Kuana. Find out what they are that way. Eventually, the honey will sprout. Yeah. Okay, perfect. And then I have, um, uh, where did I set them down? I think down here. Here is a tray. This is a tray of pink. We've got pink Ronank. And basically, Ash knows the drill. Going in the ground. So the Ronank, I'm okay with it going in like this. Um, a but section of it. Yeah, kind of just make sure you're not going to crush it when it goes in. I kind of ball up the roots so that most of the roots are underground. And if we need to um, have a little bucket to top That's it off. That's nice, yeah. Let's yeah, that. Okay, get cool. that so it's not exposed. But yeah, these are all... So you don't have to separate. You do have to separate. You, you don't do, have to but separate. There's a corm, though. To one. No, it yeah. can be like this. Okay. Yeah. It's one corm with a whole bunch of growth on it. Right. So, yeah. Uh, every hole. Every hole? Yeah, I'm just picking and choosing and being picky because that hole looked thick. <laughs> it was a wider one. Yeah, perfect. So we can kind of top them off. Here, Ash, I'll give you a clump. Yeah, give me a clump. I feel like my fingers get really yeah, deep in the dirt right now. Because I can't do that at my house. Oh, actually. They're looking pretty good. We pulled off. Um, What'd you do? The plastic over the top of one of the. What'd little you get? What'd you put in? The celery overwintered. Oh, perfect. And there's a lot of garlic that's like this tall. Oh, awesome. Yeah. So I'm happy. Fortunately, with that. I don't have any tulips popping up. I was worried about that. Oh yeah, that's too early. Well. early. Yeah. Yeah, this week is going to be super confusing for the trees too. I know because it's going to be like 50 for a bunch of days. Yeah, many days. I might top dress some of the ranunculus over there with some compost, but I'm not sure. Protection. What's Brad Pitt do? Oh yeah, I know what he's doing. But we actually just installed a new hardwood floor in the living room. Oh so my gosh, how beautiful. Like 30 million boxes yeah. that the hardwood came in.
Those on the left are fever few coming back. Oh. So, um, and then on the right are heirloom mums coming back. Oh. And on the back, in the middle, is eucalyptus coming back. Oh, I see it. So those are all plants down there. I mean, there are some sections that have a little bit of weediness, okay. but those are actual plants. We'll see how healthy these plants look in a couple of days. They should actually look really good because, yeah, there's no cold nights coming up. All right, I'm going to go plug the hose in and we'll give them a drink too. Out. These are category seven corms, all right? <laughs> serious, serious size we got. We're playing in the black ones now, and they just happen to be um, quite plump. <laughs> <laughs> for the day and just watering everything in. We actually have that whole row planted and I planted up in that corner as well. Um, we still got some more cleaning up to do in the back, but I've, um, <laughs> and apparently I have to get a new hose. I'm happy camper. We've got the front half of the hoop house planted. The back half has some perennial stuff and I still have to use some of the back half for the anemones because I have, I think an equal amount of trays of anemones to put in the ground. I do have some open space probably for a couple trays and I did get some anemones right here in the bottom but I'm going to shut the hoop house up for the night and I am actually going to take it easy this afternoon it's Sunday I've been working seven days this week and uh, it's about two three in the afternoon I have actually no idea what time it is two o'clock so I'm gonna um, button up the hoop house and then uh, have a nice afternoon with the family so thanks guys for hanging out with me for a little bit and we'll see this place blooming in just a couple months. See you soon. <gasps> this whole section right here, it's it's pretty epic. Hey you, what's up? <laughs> Call you later. Cut you later. Oh, what? I can't pay attention. Focus. Deer fly, deer fly, there's, it's, it's on the camera. <laughs>